Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of quadrilaterals, we shall be taking two examples, example number 8 and 9, which is based on the quadrilateral rhombus. Now these are the two examples which we are going to study in this video. Let us start with the first example. The diagonals of a rhombus are in the ratio of 3 is to 4. If its perimeter is 40 cm, find the length of the sides and diagonals of the rhombus. So in this question, the diagonals of the rhombus are given in the ratio of 3 is to 4. Perimeter is 40 cm and we have to find the length of the side and also the length of the diagonals of the rhombus. Now let's start with the solution. Now since ABCD is a rhombus, hence all the sides are equal. So AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA and perimeter of rhombus ABCD is given by formula 4 into side of rhombus that is sum of all the sides which is equal to 40 cm it is given to us in the question. So if we have to find the side of the rhombus we just have to divide 40 by 4 and we will get 10 cm. So length of each side of the rhombus is 10 cm. Now let us calculate the diagonals. So, since the ratio is given 3 is to 4, we can say let BD be 3x and AC be 4x. Now, as the diagonals of the rhombus bisect each other, that means they divide it into two equal halves. So, we can say OD is half of BD, which is equal to 3x by 2 and OC is half of AC, which is equal to 4x by 2. Now, as the diagonals of the rhombus bisect each other at right angles, that means they are perpendicular to each other, we can say that triangle DOC is a right angle triangle. So, we can apply Pythagoras theorem over here and since the side CD is the hypotenuse, we can write OD square plus OC square is equal to CD square. That means perpendicular square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square. Further, we shall put the values. So, OD was 3x by 2 and OC is 4x by 2 and CD is 10 cm which we had calculated in part 1. So, accordingly, we shall write 3x by 2 whole square plus 4x by 2 whole square is equal to 10 square. Now, further, we will solve and write 9x square by 4 plus 16x square by 4 is equal to 100. Further, let us take LCM and we will write 25 by 4 x square is equal to 100. Now let us cross multiply. So x square is equal to 100 into 4 by 25 which is equal to 16. So x will come 4 centimeter. So we can say that diagonals of the rhombus are 3x that is 3 into 4 12 centimeter and 4 into 4 16 centimeter and each side of the rhombus is 10 centimeter that we had calculated earlier. So, the diagonals also are calculated and each side is also calculated in this question. Now, let us take up next example. ABCD is a rhombus. If angle ADB is equal to 50 degree, find the angles of the rhombus. Now, as you can see in the figure, ABCD is a rhombus and BD is the diagonal. It is forming angle 50 degree at ADB. Let us number rest of the angles so that it is easy to understand. Now let us take the triangle ADB. In that we can say AD is equal to AB since the adjacent sides of the rhombus are equal. So ABD that is angle 3 is equal to angle ADB equal to 50 degree. That means both 50 degree and uh, number 3 angle is same. They are equal because angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So, because AD was equal to AB, therefore we can say angle ADB is equal to ABD. So, first thing is proved that angle ABD that is angle number 3 is 50 degree. Now, since ABCD is a rhombus and opposite sides are parallel to each other, we can say that AD is parallel to BC and BD is the transversal. So, clearly angle CBD is equal to angle ADB equal to 50 degree as they are alternate interior angles. So angle CBD which is our angle 2 is 50 degree. Now in triangle CBD we can also say that BC is also equal to CD as adjacent sides of the rhombus are equal. 
Therefore, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 50 degree as angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So, angle 1 is also 50 degree. Now, angle ADC is equal to angle ADB plus angle 1. It's a combination of two angles. That is 50 degree plus 50 degree is equal to 100 degree. Similarly, ABC is also a combination of two angles. ABD plus angle 2 which is equal to 50 degree plus 50 degree is equal to 100 degree. Also in triangle CBD. Now, if I have to find angle C, we have to take that triangle CBD in that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle C is equal to 180 degree by applying the angle sum property of a triangle. Now, angle 1 and angle 2 are 50 degree each. So, we can write angle C is equal to 180 degree minus angle 1 minus angle 2. So, which is equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree minus 50 degree which is equal to 80 degree. So, we can clearly say that angle A is equal to angle C is equal to 80 degree because opposite angles are equal. Similarly, angle B is equal to angle D is equal to 100 degree that we have proved earlier. So, since it's a rhombus, opposite angles are equal. So, A is equal to C 80 degree and B is equal to D 100 degree. So, hope you have understood these two examples. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a great day ahead.